So we'll see our next question. A client has nausea, abdominal cramping and persistent mucus-like watery diarrhea that is positive for Clostridium difficile. The nurse anticipates that client will be prescribed which medication to treat this condition. So here the uh, keyword is that anticipates. So the nurse know client have these and these problems. So while seeing uh, some of the medications or while anticipating the situation, the nurse should know which medication would be appropriate treatment for this condition. We'll see the options. Option one, ceftriaxone. Then option two, fluconazole. Option three, metronidazole. Option four, pandoprazole. So we know that what is Clostridium difficile infection? We know that while uh, the long term use of some antibiotic that will uh, destruct or damage the normal flora of bacteria in the abdominal layers. So as a result, this uh, will develop a soap super infection and the abdominal walls doesn't have the ability to properly absorb the food and what the client is ingesting and it will uh, go like a watery stool because the food contents are not absorbing and the proper digestion is not occurring because the normal flora of bacteria is got damaged because of use of some kind of other antibiotics for long term or it might be sometimes because of some of the nosocomial infections so in that case which out of this which medicine would be an appropriate treatment ceftriaxone we know that it is a cephalosporin antibiotics and usually it could cause uh, C. difficile infection so we cannot prescribe ceftriaxone so we remove the option one then fluconazole we know that it is an antifungal agent it is not an effective treatment for C. difficile infection so we can uh, remove option two also then option three metronidazole so this is one of the main treatment or the antibiotic that is used for the effective treatment of clostridia infection and uh, sometimes uh, if the IV vancomycin is not effective so that time uh, clients might be taking the oral uh, vancomycin also that is also an effective method then the option four is pandoprazole pandoprazole we know that it is a protein uh, proton pump inhibitors so the proton pump inhibitors that also could cause C. difficile infection so we cannot prescribe pandoprazole for the treatment of C. difficile infection so our answer for this question is option 3 metanidazole it's a very simple question i just wanted to uh, give a clarification because some of them they still have the doubts regarding these uh, simple medicines that we are commonly using and uh, i hope it's clear we'll see you with next question